We were at Central and 135th. The next street down was Piru Street, one of the most notorious gangs in Compton. It was rough. It gave Compton youth a place to go and experience music and, uh, uh, you know, communicate. We were a skating rink. We played music every night. But it really took off when we did live performances. We started doing Latifah. Ice-T. Run DMC. They brought Easy there. Beastie Boys. N.W.A. It was a significant place like Studio 54 for rap music on the West Coast. And you ain't seen nothing like that in the city of Compton since. Once we got the patrons out and my staff would be there cleaning up, NWA would all go over to the snack bar. They'd send out, buy some e and J. I'd, I'd provide the Pepsi. I never charged them to come in. So Dre and Yella, Cube, they would be back there usually writing music, sometimes going in the DJ booth working on mixes. On one particular night in March of 87, NWA would draw the attention of music moguls with the power to change their lives forever. There was gonna be some executives from some of the record companies there. This was supposed to be a really big night. As I was coming out of the green room, Eric put his hand on my shoulder and he says, damn. NWA is Skateland USA. This shit is epic. And I told him, I said, Eric, your life will change from this point on. I may not even see you again. They were picked up that night, and I don't think I ever saw him after that. Less than a year later, Skateland closes its doors. But its legacy lives on, even today.